what is up everyone it's Ben Foggins Media Corner back again with a brand new AK After Soul review episode for today this is gonna be my review on the film that I saw last year in 2021 which this one I was dying to review this film last year around Christmas time but I got held up from work and I was well as and I was also seeing some new stuff at the time and a few of my friends were like when am I ever gonna review this film but since I'm off work I feel like I should get this review over and done with so today's review is gonna be my review on the 2021 musical romantic drama that's based off the 1957 stage play of the same name and this is the second adaptation to the big screen, which we've already had a feature film based off the stage play, which was released back in 1961. And that movie is, of course, West Side Story. And like I said, this is the remake to the original classic musical that was released back in 1961, which was, of course, based off the 1957 stage play. And this movie is directed by one of the most iconic filmmakers of all time, which is my, one of my favorite directors of all time, Steven Spielberg. And this movie is basically a love story where love at first sight strikes, where we see young Tony, played by Ansel Elgort, uh, meets a young girl named Maria, played by Rachel Zegler, at a high school dance in 1957. And their romance basically helps to fuel the fire, fire warring uh, rivalry, rivals between the Jets and the Sharks, which is basically... The, which is basically the Americans and the Puerto Re versus the Puerto Ricans, which are these two rivalry gangs in the West Side. So that's pretty much the story of West Side Story. Now, for the original West Side Story, which I do have my own copy here, um, I never knew much about the whole stage play and all of that. I was kind of, when it comes to West Side Story, the first thing that pops in my head is just the movie, really. Not really, this, not, not the stage play or not the book or anything like that. I didn't even know it was originally based on a book and then it got made into a stage play and then it got made to a big a big movie um, but um, around the time when the remake was about to come out um, I, I was like I need to give the I need to give the original movie a watch so I did get my own copy of this um, which I am holding in my hand and I did watch it for the first time and I can definitely see why a lot of people consider this movie to be a class a straight-up classic because this movie is just a classic it's it's one of my favorite musicals of all time and it's one of my one of my favorite films of the 60s and I can even I can even say for this movie, for this movie that won eleven Academy eleven Academy Awards, I can definitely see why this movie does definitely deserves all those those awards because again, everything about this about the original film is just a straight up masterpiece. And so, for this remake, which was going to be made by Steven Spielberg, one of the most iconic filmmakers of all time, and even one of my favorite directors of all time, I was really excited to see what he can do for his own take on a on a classic musical like this one. And for the cast who were involved with this film, I didn't know much of them except just a quite a few, like Ansel Elgort. Like, I really liked him in The Fault in Our Stars, and I loved him in Baby Driver. Um, I was really intrigued to see what he can do for a Steven Spielberg movie. And as for other cast members, I didn't know much of them, but I was really intrigued to see what they can do for a Spielberg film. Since, again, Spielberg is one of my favorite filmmakers. And this film was originally scheduled for a 2020 release until it got delayed because of You Know What. And they got rescheduled for a December release of last year, like the 10th of December. And I didn't see it on opening day because I went to see Clifford the Big Red Dog. But the day after I saw Clifford, I went to see this movie on the 11th of December. And my screening was quite packed. There was quite a few people in my screening who were really excited for this movie. I guess maybe some who were like myself who were really excited to see a Steven Spielberg movie on the big screen. And after walking out of this movie, I gotta personally say here, you guys... I absolutely love the remake. Yeah, this is this is just definitely one of the best remakes I've ever seen, and even and hell, even one of the best musicals of 2021. Because 2021 for musicals, there was so many damn good musicals of last year, like In the Heights, Encanto, and this movie. Man, 2021 for musicals was such a big year here because. There were so many musicals, again, that I absolutely adored here. And this one, I can never say, one of the best ones, alongside Encanto and in, and in the Heights. And I also got to say, I actually like this one a little bit more than the original here, because for everything what this new one went for, I absolutely adored here, you guys. There's a lot of things to love here in this remake. Like, the cast in this film, everyone is absolutely fantastic in the movie. Ansel Elgort, I think he gives one of the best performances out of his career. Like, his acting is phenomenal, and his singing, too, in this movie is absolutely amazing. And for Rachel Zegler, which this is actually a very first film as an actress, for her acting debut, she's absolutely phenomenal in this movie. Her, her acting's terrific, and her singing, too, in this movie is absolutely incredible. And I can't wait to see what she does in the future for, like, future movies. And Ariana DeBose, um, she's phenomenal in this movie, too. And for her winning the Best Supporting Actress Award at the Oscars for this year, she totally deserved the award here, guys, because, again, she's phenomenal. 
in this movie. And for Rita Monroe, she's also amazing too in the movie. Everyone else were also fantastic in the movie. And their singing too in this movie as well were absolutely amazing. And for Spielberg's direction for his own take on this on this iconic love story, he totally stoned the hell out of me for his directing talent in this film because it's a very unique looking film. Like, for him directing the whole, directing this movie to feel like a 50s film, he totally stunned me here. Like, for the costumes, the sets, and the timing in the film, he did a terrific job directing those, directing some scenes like that, that truly make you feel like you're watching a 50s movie. And for, to me, when I was watching this film, I kind of felt, I kind of felt like I was watching the original film, but with a new paint color to it. And again, Spielberg did a fantastic job directing this. And for like the songs in the film, the songs, of course, are so iconic from the original movie as well as from the play. Even though I don't know much about the play, I just mostly know from the original classic movie. The songs in the cla in the original movie are absolutely are absolutely memorable, and the songs here in this movie are absolutely well, well are still are memorable, even though they're voiced by. I mean, they're sung by they're sung by um, different. Um, different people and for these new people singing these iconic songs they did a fantastic job doing their own cover on the on the uh, on these iconic songs and they didn't feel like updates to these to these iconic songs because they just feel like they just still feel the exactly the same you know like the, like some like some like like these songs like maria america and tonight and all that those songs are still absolutely memorable and i will never i will never ever stop listening to these songs and the choreography as well in this film were absolutely were absolutely amazing. When we get to see some moments of, like seeing some scenes in the movie when it brings into music form, like the dancing in the film were absolutely incredible. And Spielberg directing those moments like that again, he did a fantastic job. And this movie's not a tech, it's not a shot for shot remake since this is a remake, because there are some differences to the original film, which I thought Spielberg did a great job from all that. Not to just not just to make you know a shot for shot remake, because usually for some shot for shot remakes I usually see are not that good. But I really appreciate the new stuff. Like for the song America, it's in a totally different setting, which I thought which I thought worked perfectly well. And this film isn't really mostly a musical throughout. And this movie is not really mostly a musical because there are times in the film where it does get serious. Which for for scenes where it gets where it does get serious, I thought Spielberg did a fantastic job from all of that. And for the and it does get a bit violent in the film. Like there are some tense moments, which for moments like that, it really got me at the edge of my seat because I was mostly like for moments that were really that really had me really intrigued with this film. I mo I was mostly on the edge of my seat, like for the tense moments, the serious moments, as well the music moments and the ending too in the film, which the ending did really make me cry. Like in the original film, it did make me cry. And the, and when I saw, and to see that again in this movie, it really got it re it it really got me emotional. And for and just like I said. Um, for Spielberg for directing numerous things in this film again he did a fantastic job for like directing the way it looks this film the the, the music like the scenes where it breaks in the music form like the singing the dancing and all that and the scenes where it gets serious as well as having some dark like some in t like tense moments he did a fantastic job from all that and of course the story from being based on its own source material of course it's 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 memorable it never really got off me, nearly took me off guard because again, I really, I really love the story because it's a, it's, it's such an iconic love story. It's one of the best love stories I've ever seen that's been translated to the big screen. That's based off a of source material, and for watching that all over again, this film, it really got me It really got me interested with this film, and there was not a single moment that made me bored with this movie whatsoever. And I've got no problem to pick out with this film, other than this remake is just one of the best remakes I've ever seen. It's one of the best uh, musicals of last year, alongside In the Heights and Encanto, which I can definitely say oh, those are the best musicals. And this is definitely one of Spielberg's best, uh, like one of Spielberg's best films after the, after the last five years. If you've never seen the original film and you, if you've never read the, if you've never watched the play before, or read the book of that, um, I suggest check out this one with a totally new different because this one's sort of like a modern newer version to the to the original source material and i can definitely see i can definitely say that people who have never seen the original one would definitely enjoy this one a lot more than the original so that's pretty much all to say about the west side story remake i'm going to give west side story 2021 five out of five <laughs> I can't believe I've given another musical the exact same score. I gave that score to In the Heights, which that still is my favorite musical of last year. But still, though, I love this movie to bits. And again, this is definitely one of the best musicals of last year and one of the best movies of last year. And heck, for 2021 musicals that we got last year, there was so many damn good musicals we've had last year. This movie, In the Heights and Encanto, 
those were the best. And we had some other musicals that were near perfect, but just no, 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 no. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my AK After Hours review on West Side Story 2021. And let me know what you think of this remake. If you've just recently seen this remake or if you've already seen this remake before. Do you absolutely love this remake or did you not really appreciate this remake? So again, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews. And as always, this has been Falcons Media Corner signing off.